Sanskrit General Hospital is the only trauma center in the city. So it's used by over 1.5 million people every year. Um, and this is the place people go to in, in the event of any major accident or trauma. After an earthquake, everyone's coming to the trauma center. So the trauma center needs to be up and running just like it was before the event. And that, that's the end goal. We are constructing a brand new hospital. It's going to replace the existing one that we have. I'm a special inspector working out here, and uh, I'm actually the lead special inspector. So part of my duties include, in addition to doing inspection work, checking up to make sure that all of the other inspectors know what they're to do that day and making sure that it all gets done. As you can imagine, um, from foundation on up to um, closing up the building, there's lots of different trades that roll through the project. Since 2009, We've, we've, we've logged in over two million hours of, of actual trades working in, in, in the project. Inspection Services uh, Incorporated, the people I work for, we are special inspectors. The code says that for certain types of work, a special inspector must be employed. In addition to Inspection Services, we also have some other outfits out here because it's a joint venture. The city likes to make sure that everybody gets a chance on a big project to do something. So uh, this other primary besides ISI is APEX. We've been working with Abdel Khalifa. We have been working together with the ASI on other projects uh, with City College of San Francisco. It was a very successful project. Then since it has been successful, then we kept going with the joint venture. This is our second project, and we're going to other projects as well, so, which is uh, it's a very good uh, joint venture partner. The duties that we are involved with here are making sure that the structural steel and welding and bolt up, basically the general gist of it is everything designed into the structure for the minimum requirements of life safety all have to be exactly primo. As far as the structure itself goes, if there's any place I want to be in an earthquake, it's in that building. It is so well built. It's designed with something that's fairly new in construction. It's been around for a little while, but it's called base isolators. The concept of base isolation is that the base of the column, um, as, as, as the phrase says, is isolated from the earth, um, therefore limiting the amount of forces that get telegraphed through the building. With base isolators, the earth shakes and it can't transfer the energy to the building. So the building's gonna stay in exactly the same spot and the earth is gonna move underneath it. We um, bought, designed, and developed, and prototype tested the isolators prior to finishing the design and getting permits. So we had a proven performance before we perfected the building completely. Um, so there was a whole lot of uh, time and risk that was eliminated by being able to rethink the paradigm on how to advance a base isolated project. But I think what kind of puts it all in perspective is the fact that we're building a hospital in the middle of an active hospital. And, and during this past six years, we have not had a day that we've impacted the hospital operation. We've always been able to, to work in conjunction with the hospital staff and be able to kind of, kind of find a, uh, a way to coexist together. Here we are, um, less than a year from substantial completion. Um, our budget is sound, uh, we are on time, and most important for me is we're delivering what was promised. The effect that I'd like this to have on the community is the one that I hope it's having right now, which is that it brings them some comfort. It, I think it really helped the San Francisco economy just by creating more jobs. I like to thank uh, the City of San Francisco, especially the Human Rights Commission, for having companies like Apex to grow and to work on these big projects. The fundamental is we're all working towards the same goal, and that goal is to have this hospital built and built right and open so that it's available for the public should the need arise. It's been a pleasure uh, serving the city of San Francisco and delivering uh, such an exciting project.